Hi guys, how you doing? I am Sir Drinks a Lot, and welcome back to another Lap It Up Drink Review Series. Today's drink of choice, I want to try... Find it. Okay, I, I have sticking away from the energy drinks, um, pretty much. But I saw this, and it just looked interesting. And it's called Froze Rose from Bang. And obviously, it's from Bang. So, they uh, slap a new color... Slap a different name, pop in a couple different flavors, and then toss it out the door and see if it rolls into somebody's hand and turns them into a zombie or something. Um, serving size one can. It contains no fruit juice, zero calories, zero fat, zero f saturated fat, zero trans fats, zero cholesterol, 40 milligrams of sodium, 85 milligrams of potassium, zero carbs, zero fiber, zero sugar, zero proteins. I mean, carbonated water, citric acid, uh, anhydrous, natural flavors. I mean, like, yeah. It's, it's one of the things that I, I really have liked about the idea, at least for Bang, because um, a lot of this stuff, this zeros and all this fun stuff, is, if I'm not mistaken, not backed up by the FDA or anybody else except the company saying, hey, so... Really, do you know what you're drinking? I don't know. And there was a lawsuit. I think I talked about that. So I don't know for sure. So you'll have to excuse me while I pop the can. All right. Let's get chugging. No, I don't like that. I don't know. Oh, it's kind of a soda. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a. It's like a really, really cherry. Lime soda of some kind, but not like less on the tart for the lime, but more of a candy. It's like a candy carbonated soda. Not bad though. And I just realized I was in the store at a gas station. It had. It's 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 Sunday morning, and normally I would go down to the local gas station. Uh, they got a, a large table areas where you can sit down and uh, whip out my laptop or a book and read or write. And I've been trying to do that to get out of my shell, be more motivated. Um, I had a friend recently ask me, um, was worried that I wasn't getting out and doing things after the divorce. So, you know, get out there and. Meet people, are you? Are you socializing? And I'm like, eh. I don't like people. I mean, I do. But I don't. I mean, I work with people on a daily basis. I do the video for people, and I like that. Being able to express myself for you guys and have a good time. But the general public can be really weird. So I'm, I'm not, like, a big fan. But I do really enjoy drinking and telling you guys what what I how I feel about it and I love commenting with you guys it's so much fun um, but uh, where was I going with this oh yeah um, and what I'll do is in the mornings I get red bull orange I have I've kind of made that a staple so really I had to go back and change it to 10 because really like the orange um, but I had one here Oh, but, oh yeah, it's it's like ten. Um, I did some cleaning at the house, played with the dog, going over to friends' house, and we were going to binge watch some Stranger Things. And I figured that I would do a lap it up. I still haven't gotten my stuff in yet. Kind of hoping it'll be soon. This is, like I said, a little close for comfort. And as you can see, I'm all shaggy. <clears throat> so. I 
kind of reminds me of the cotton candy one as well. Just not as not as potently sweet. Like this is sweet, but it's like a dumbed down version. But uh, it's not bad. Um, honestly, I probably end up giving it a giving it a three, and probably like a, a like a five. It's it's okay. Um, I mean, it, some people might really really like the flavor. That might kick it over to a six for some people, or maybe even better. But like, I'm I'm, I'm about five five and a half. We'll go five and a half. Um, but we'll go we'll go a three on the five scale. But um. Oh, goodness. Good stuff. It's interesting. The, the type of drinks that are out there. So many different flavors. And you don't mess with something for a little while. You come back to it and you're like, holy crap. There's so much drunk. And having been built, you know, made and bottled and put out there. Um, saw some glass bottle Fantas the other day. I thought I might give a shot. I think it's already flavors that I've already tried. But still, it's like... Anyway, oh uh, yeah, just uh, pop some chips and uh, grab some drinks and head over to a friend's house. We're gonna check out some Stranger Things and uh, yeah, that'll be my Sunday. Go home, do some dishes, sweep up a little bit, try to vacuum if I can, and then of course, shirtless Sundays. Something I used to do on Vine. Um, it's called Salute Shirtless Sunday. Hashtag. And, uh, well, hashtag salute shirtless Sunday. And I did, uh, Vine videos where, uh, I did kind of just short little sections where I was kind of like, you know, everybody does their laundry, you know, respect that. You know, it's like, hey, you know, if somebody's wearing something that you'd normally see, it's Sunday, they're doing laundry, you know. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. And so I will be probably doing some laundry later tonight. Up, 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 bird. Sorry, distracted. Anyway. I uh, hope you all are doing well. Uh, I am Sir Drinks a lot. Some people call me Josh. Some people call me Okami Kyodai. Um, and I am uh, wishing you health, wealth, and love. With enough time and gusto to enjoy it all down to the last drop. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. I'm also on Twitter. And if you don't check out my Twitter, that's fine. But, you know, it's my Twitter. So... <laughs> Catch you guys later.